Okay. Okay. We're putting posts in. We're digging them with a post hole digger. We're not pounding them in because we don't have a post pounder. We have a post pounder, but I don't want to spend the money. So we're digging them in, and I'm putting white rock CA6 around them and packing that in because you can pack it tighter and it's not mud, so the posts don't move as much, and I think they last longer. I don't know whether that's true or not, but I, put, I pack them with white rock. Should have got a bigger inch. You get that big Bertha one. Yeah, I know. It's probably coming off the rain's probably coming off the shore roof. This one's heavy. any farther than what you got this track. Old uh, fairing house crate sites from fairing crates that dad put up in 1967. He put that fairing house up and they had pins that pinned down. They had of course the front and the back but those are 1967 chunks of steel uh, fairing crates put up uh, it's the winter of 66 67 so hell that steel is maybe made in 66 works good Is that sticking out too much for them to scratch oh, on? No. They're going to scratch on it anyway. Yeah, I don't know where you put it. into the sun looking right into the sun okay it was judy's idea we had a we used to have a a you can see a post old post out there i don't know if you can see that old post or not yeah and there's an old post over there you used to have a bigger corral here that dad made kind of a big corral and we used to have a a loading area there where we could back our old gray steel 16 foot trailer up and it had a, a day a, a gate on it just like a walk through single person gate and then we had a gate that you could swing around in a circle on a post to push them in there to load. And that worked pretty good. Well, that post broke off and everything. And 
Judy said, you know what? When we go to load cows up, we just back the trailer up here and put a panel up right over there and they run in the back. But the, the, the corral was always too big. It was too big. If you had one that just wanted to be a jerk, you had to end up getting three people in here to push them in. And she said, we need to just make this corral tighter. So we put a gate here so we can open it up and let them in. And uh, this old building uh, is an old hog sow building. And as you can tell, it's, um, that was the other thing too. I didn't want to put anything around on it much. We just got a gate wired up there um, because this building's probably gonna come down sometime. But we put the old uh, hog crate panel up right there. Um, good. And then this is a 20 foot chunk of continuous fence. We got a little gap down the end but I'll end up cutting some boards and uh, putting the boards up there and uh, that'll work really well there. I, I'm, I'm not as big on wood anymore, but in that corner, you won't see it as bad. And I just didn't want to cut a chunk of continuous fence. And we need a new four, gate. Four feet. And we need a new gate on the end. If this gate's bad, just, well, we need to put a post in yeah. and put a new gate up. Cause this post is an old hedge post that kind of got rotten. It didn't actually, started growing trees out from under it that I had to cut. But this post has kind of just pulled itself down. So we need to come in here and put another post and put a gate. And um, I may end up putting a post, get a longer gate, put a put the post back there and just cut this whole thing off. Yeah, make the opening. Make the opening wider. Wider for the tractor. For the tractor. Because you can get in here now, but it's tight. I mean, I got a panel there that we took off that's laying down. You'd have to well, it's tight when you have the uh, bale. Bale on the front. Yeah, round bale on the front. Judy and I have been doing but, some fencing, and this old hedge post got rotten. And I'd rather be lucky and smart. I was able to pull the post out of the ground, and then as I set the post on the ground, it broke. So I didn't have to dig that out by hand, which I was really, really glad. But yeah, I was able to pull that post out by hand that broke off. As I tell Judy, I'd rather be lucky than smart, and that was very lucky. It ain't much, but it'll work this winter. It costs nothing. And then when it's completely shot. Well, well the post costs something, but I had the gate. That post needs to go over just a little. Yeah. Very That's good. A lot better than what it was. It's got nice gate there. Corral. I got to put wood right there. Yep.